What's up guys? Welcome to this apartment tour video. You might recognize this place. My girlfriend actually made a room tour of the same apartment. You can find this on her channel. But she moved out recently and I made a few changes to the apartment. So I thought you might be interested um, to know what it looks like now. So yeah, let's jump right in and let's get started. When we enter the apartment, we find ourselves in this entry area here. On the left side, we have a large building closet that separates the entry from the rest of the apartment and creates this little hallway here. The closet contains my entire wardrobe, which you can see in my wardrobe video. And on the right side, there's a shoe rack where I have all my shoes. The hallway opens up into the rest of the apartment here. And on the right side, there's the kitchen. I really like this kitchen. It's rather large considering the size of the apartment. And it's a very nice kitchen. It's very good quality. Sometimes it can look a bit messy here because there's not that much storage space and I like to cook fresh. So there's always a lot of vegetables and fruits and other ingredients. Here we have a small table which separates the kitchen from the living area. I use this table both as a dining table, but also as a desk. When I have guests over, I can just use some folding chairs from the balcony to have additional chairs for guests. On the opposite side of the table, there are these little desk drawers, which I use as a kind of sideboard. They hold my keys and there's also a plant, which I think just makes the space a little bit more warm and welcoming. And plants bring a little bit life into the apartment and also help clean the air. These drawers contain most of my personal belongings. There's um, stationery in there, also my laptop and other electronics and my entire camera gear, all that's in these drawers. On the floor there are my speakers. They are pretty bulky and at some point I wanted to replace them with small Bluetooth speakers, but I found that the sound of the Bluetooth speakers wasn't as good as the sound of those and I didn't want to spend like a hundred bucks on speakers just so the sound gets worse. So I returned them and decided to keep those until they no longer work. We are now in my favorite part of the apartment, the library. As you may know, if you have seen my other videos, you know that I really love to read and I have a lot of books. The amount of books here might not seem very minimalist and I would agree that it's quite a lot of books, but those books are only books that I either have read and really love and want to read again or that I haven't read but still plan on reading. And this year I'm actually doing a challenge that I'm not buying any books this year so I can reduce the number of books a little bit and my goal is to fit all of them into just one bookcase and get through all those unread books I still have. If you want to know more about this challenge, I will link it down below. I made an entire video about it. When I want to sleep, I just flip the mattress down on the floor and the library turns into my bedroom. Not having an actual bed saves a lot of space and I really enjoy that there's a lot of free space here where I can move around um, throughout the day, even though it's a small apartment. In the last few weeks, I actually often have not used this mattress and just slept on the floor. I just wanted to try it out and see if it works for me, if I can just sleep on the floor. And I actually kind of liked it. So I think if I wouldn't have this mattress, I wouldn't buy a new one. This is actually the mattress of my girlfriend, so I can't get rid of it. My girlfriend would probably not agree to getting rid of the bed and sleeping on the floor. But if it were just me, I wouldn't buy a bed again and just sleep on the floor because it saves a lot of space and I don't feel I really need it. I really enjoy having a lot of space to move around, to work out and do yoga in. I used to go to the gym on most days, but now with COVID, I bought myself a pull-up bar and just started doing home workouts. And I find that it works out really great. And I don't think I will ever buy a gym membership again, just because I really enjoy my home workout. It's everything I need and it saves a lot of money. We're in the bathroom now. It's quite small, but I find it really cozy. I don't really have any bathroom products, just my toothbrush and toothpaste, some soap that I use for showering and washing my hands, and some homemade aftershave, and also some fragrance that I wear when I go on dates with my girlfriend, and that's pretty much it. For the shower, I cut little pieces of the soap and put it in this little uh, soap bag here that I hang in my shower. This is really convenient for using in the shower and it also helps the soap to dry faster. The only thing that's left to show now is the balcony. 
It looks quite sad and pathetic at the moment because it's winter and all the furniture is in the basement. But in the summer it's really nice out there. We have a small lantern that we bought at a thrift store, which is just beautiful for cozy summer nights. In the summer we also grow some herbs and veggies on the balcony, which is sustainable and also a lot of fun. That was it, that was my minimalist apartment. I hope you liked it, I hope you found it interesting. If you did, please like, please comment this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And I see you guys in the next video.